Cutie, are you alright? I, I thought I heard you shouting. Hey, 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 what's wrong? God, you look positively terrified. Well, it must have been a doozy of a nightmare to put you in that state. Do you mind if I sit next to you? <laughs> hey, it's okay. That's what big sisters are for. I'll stay with you until you're feeling better, okay? Cutie, don't say that. I want to make sure you're alright. I'm happy to do this for you. Because I love you. We're family, right? I just wouldn't feel right leaving you all alone when I know what you're going through. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that either. I have the day off tomorrow, so I was probably going to sleep in anyway. It's no trouble, cutie. Is it alright if I ask what the nightmare was about? It's fine if you don't want to share, but they do say that talking about it helps you feel better. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's... That's pretty creepy. So did it... Uh... <laughs> Weird. Well, stuff like that always seems scarier when you're actually in the dream, and... After that, did... Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm sorry you had to go through that, cutie. Those nightmares are always just awful in the moment, huh? You still seem pretty shook up about it. Even after getting it off your chest. Come here. Let me give you a hug. Jeez, mm, I can feel you shaking. It all really stuck with you, didn't it? No, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Your dreams aren't real, but... Your feelings are. You saw something really frightening to you. So of course it's going to have a real effect on you. Sometimes acknowledging that your feelings are legitimate is the first step to getting over them. You just need that closure to move on, you know? So relax. We'll work on this together. You know, this reminds me of when we were younger. You used to have nightmares all the time back then. Mom always had a bunch of songs ready to sing for you, and you'd calm down right away. I remember because we had to share a room for a bit. I'm not exactly a great singer like Mom, but maybe I could sing for you instead? I don't think we should wake her up if we don't have to. Now... I don't really remember the songs, but I'll do my best and see what I can come up with, okay? How's that? Feeling any better? Good. It looks like you're not shaking anymore, at least. I'm not sure I should leave you alone just yet, though. You're still too scared to fall asleep? I was afraid of that. I'd be scared of having another dream like that, too. Here, do you mind if I lie down next to you? That's not too weird, right? <laughs> Okay, good. I just wanted to get a good angle to whisper in your ear and maybe stroke your hair a bit, just like Mom used to. Everything.
Everything's okay. You're safe. I would never let anything like that happen to you. You may feel scared now, but that feeling will pass. And soon you'll be comfortable enough to fall back asleep. Maybe you'll have Maybe you won't dream at all, but I'm sure you won't have to worry about a nightmare. And even if that were to happen twice in a row, I'd come right back in to make you feel safe again. There's no rush. You can take this at your own pace. There's nothing else that needs your attention. There's nobody who's waiting on you. For now, just focus on your breathing. Take some deep, slow breaths through your nose. Breathe out just as slowly through your mouth. In time, you should start to feel more and more relaxed. And when you relax and fall asleep, you'll be able to wake up to a brand new day. Hey cutie, I couldn't help but notice you tensed up a little bit in that last part. Is something wrong? I don't want to pry too much, but I wonder if maybe there's something you're anxious about. Something you have to worry about tomorrow. If that's the case, then maybe that's part of the problem. Stress and anxiety can be a big factor behind nightmares, you know? You don't have to speak up about it if you don't want to, especially if it's something private, but, but I do want you to know that you can talk to me without having to worry about being judged, alright? It's okay if you've made some kind of mistake or gotten involved in something you're not proud of. I mean, I wasn't always a, what did dad say, an excellent example of a lady at all times. I've done some pretty wild things before, so I know what it's like. Anyway, how about for now, I just sing a little more and if you want to say something at any point, you are completely free to do so. Da, 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 da. She said. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? No point in telling me. It's one thing if it's private, but there has to be something I can do to help. No, that's, that's completely untrue. Even if I can't just step in and physically remove the problem, I can still do things to help. I can be there to listen and support you. I can do things to make other parts of your life easier so that you can focus on the biggest source of stress, 
let all those other smaller ones that distract you, you don't have to deal with it alone. Okay, then go right ahead. I'm here to listen. Oh, I, oh, cutie. I had no idea. I'm so sorry to hear that. I, why haven't you mentioned that before? That's, that's such a big burden to be shouldering all by yourself. Oh. Well, don't worry. I'm going to do absolutely everything I can to help. Have you told anybody else about this? Well, personally, I, I think you should. That's the kind of thing that nobody should have to deal with alone. You should get help from as many sources as you can. You don't have to always do everything by yourself. There are lots of people that care about you, you know? You have family and friends who all want you to succeed. Don't underestimate what the people who love you are willing to do to help you through a tough time. As for me in particular, I have an idea. How about we go out and do something tomorrow? Something fun. It doesn't matter. We can do whatever you want. As long as it's not sitting around doing the same old things you do every day. I, I think you could really use a change of pace. Of course we can. Honestly, I was going to suggest the same thing. It's, it's not a hassle at all. Cutie, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Do you remember a couple years ago how, uh, how I had that really messy breakup? I don't know if I could have gotten through that without you. You did the exact same kinds of things for me. It really made a huge difference for me. Okay, well, you may have thought of it that way, but it's true. I remember being so stuck in a loop, thinking the same thoughts because I was doing the same things. You shook me out of it just by inviting me to go out with you. You've always been such a good listener. I, I feel like I can be really open with you, more so than some of my friends even. So don't think of what I'm doing as a burden. I'm just returning the favor. In fact, don't even think about it like that. We're siblings. That's just what siblings do. We look out for each other. Shh, don't worry. Look, close your eyes and relax. Da, da, da. Da, da. feeling now. You look pretty calm now. <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that, cutie. Sleep is really important, so I was worried that you weren't going to be able to get any sleep tonight. Oh, but I am going to stick around for a little bit, if that's okay with you. I want to make sure you go back to sleep completely before I go back to my room. 
I love you so much, cutie. It means the world to me that I have someone like you as family. And I'm really happy that I've been able to help you. I'm not happy that you're having the troubles you're having, of course, but as long as you are, I'm definitely glad I can make things easier. How about this? I'm just going to keep singing until you fall asleep. How does that sound? <laughs> Great. Well, good night, cutie. so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe because I release a new video every Saturday and Sunday between this channel and my other ASMR channel. Now before we close up, I'd like to make a huge thank you to my Patreons. You guys are the backbone of what I do, and I could not be a full-time creator without your help. So, without further ado, I'd like to thank Sergeant Lynch, Alexis, Christian Zepeda, Kay, Jared, Dragoon of Kiri, Brynjar, Mr. Bubble, Vespin, Maze Plains, John, Golbez, Electrified Zap, Jordan, Crazy Guy, Theo B, Monocled Unicorn, Tony, Traveling Spartan, Matchstick Wick Box, Gunslinger Blues, Siphon, Trey, Tekadan, Jack Redheart, Thomas Cardo, Minister Blade, The Hero, That Guy Solstice, Ben Kundik, Silent Sage, Gus Daniels, Michihara, Cool Dudes, Delta, Gabe, Kigaratsu, Colin Feeney, Rechizi, Javi, Frosted AoE, Nick Mod, Dark Rose Kai, Trent Spencer, Wisco, Master Lurker, Patrick Morgan, Luke Marshall, Bryant, Soul Dad Guy, The Blarf and Garf, Merrick Toronto, and Shadow Warrior. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you cuties next weekend. Goodbye.